green garden grilled flank steak. Parsley, some cilantro, garlic, oops, red onion. Hit it off with a little bit of black pepper. We spilled the pepper so over yeah, the shoulder. Yeah, all the time, ah. all the time, so messy. And then some hot Hungarian paprika, which they make fun of me on the kitchen. I use it so much. If you can't find it, it's just spicy paprika. So you can get some cayenne pepper and mix it with some smoked paprika and you're good to go. And you're good to go. A couple of tablespoons of red wine vinegar. Close this baby up. All right, so then just drizzle in your olive oil. So it's gonna get saucy. And there you go. Bingo. So then we're gonna use <laughs> half of this for the sauce. So get half of that out, and that's gonna okay. go in there. Gotcha. Then the other half just goes into a bag with your flank steak. Okay. So, so hold on, hold on, hold on. The 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 sauce that you're making is the marinade and the sauce does double duty. That's right. So you're gonna have the cooked version here, which mm -hmm. is one flavor, and mm -hmm. then the raw version there, which is another with hotter garlic mm -hmm. and really taste that hot Bring paprika. It. That's right. Yum. That's what I do. Yum. Yup. That is what you do. Yum. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay. So it marinates on the counter a couple of hours. Okay. Don't be afraid to leave your meat out for a couple of hours. And then you're just gonna get it out of the marinade. And then I go right onto the grill. Yeah. Hit it with some salt. Hit it with a little bit of funny. pepper. It's really depressing when you go back to cooking at home and no one's there to say, mm, or mm. right? Oh. Or well, she's then, not light bulb. Or clap. <laughs> yeah. Newsflash, a little ground cumin. I love doing that at the very end. So two minutes on each side, um, and then you're gonna tent it, which we have one over here, and I wanna show you something really fun. Come on down, son! So we talk about tenting, and this is something every cook should know as well. Never cut your meat right when you get it off of the heat, whether it's the grill, the oven, out of the pan. Just think about those juices. They're boiling and bubbling. If you slice into it, they're gonna boil out. So allow the meat to hang out. How you doing? Um, okay, so I want to show you how to slice this up. And I know we've always heard slice against the grain, right? Show of hands, who's heard slice against the grain? Yes. Okay, that's me getting you on TV, okay? Looking out for you. So we all hear that, but the reality is, it's like, what does that mean? So if you can imagine, this is a piece of steak, this paper. And the grains are these ridges, mm -hmm. high and low, okay? The striations mm -hmm. in the muscle. If you were to, let me get these pair of scissors. Yes, ma'am. Cut with the grain, which I'll do right now. Ooh, we're cutting, stringy. Well, it's just very tight, right? Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But if you cut against the grain. Oh. Oh, we're yeah. chewing now. Oh. oh, we're chewing. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I love about the fact that you're showing this with flank steak yeah. is that you, you can, can actually really see, see mm -hmm. yeah, the, it's very the easy protein, to see and it's a great one yeah. for first timers to. So look here, you see these striations yep. of the meat. We're going to cut perpendicular to that. Yeah. Yeah. And that's what you do. That's one of those 25 cent words you like to throw around. Perpendicular? Perpendicular. Or striations. I don't know which one. Both. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. It's so much fun being up here with both of you.